Welcome to my channel, where we explore the fascinating world of fossils and ancient life. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at the Gymbacrinus bostaki, a species of crinoid that lived during the Middle Jurassic period. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn about one of the most beautiful and intricate creatures of the ancient seas, the Gymbacrinus bostaki. Crinoids are ancient animals that have a long geological history with fossil records dating back to the late Ordovician period, over 450 million years ago. During the Middle Jurassic period, crinoids were a diverse and abundant group of echinoderms that lived in a variety of marine environments, from shallow waters to deep oceans. The fossil record of crinoids from the Middle Jurassic is particularly rich, and it provides valuable information about the evolution and diversification of these animals. J. Bostaki is a species of crinoid that lived during the Middle Jurassic period, approximately 170 to 140 million years ago. The species is known from fossil specimens that have been found in strata in Europe and Africa, which were deposited in shallow marine environments during the Middle Jurassic. These fossils provide important information about the morphology and biology of crinoids during the Middle Jurassic and how they evolved and diversified over time. Crinoids are characterized by their stem-like structure, which supports a cup-like body and a crown of arms used for feeding. The stem of a crinoid is composed of numerous disc-like ossicles, which are stacked one on top of another to form a column. The ossicles are connected by ligaments, which allow the stem to bend and move. The cup-like body, or theca, contains the digestive and reproductive organs, while the crown of arms is used to capture food such as small planktonic organisms, and bring it to the mouth. The fossil specimens of J. Bostaki provide important information about the anatomy and biology of crinoids during the Middle Jurassic. For example, the fossils reveal the size and shape of the stem, the number and arrangement of ossicles, the shape of the cup-like body, and the number and arrangement of arms. By comparing the fossils of J. Bostaki with those of other crinoids from the same time period, Paleontologists can gain insights into the evolution and diversification of these animals and how they adapted to different environments. In addition to providing information about the anatomy and biology of crinoids during the Middle Jurassic, the fossils of J. Bostaki are also of interest to paleontologists who study the evolution and diversity of echinoderms. Echinoderms are a diverse group of animals that include starfish, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and crinoids. By studying the fossils of J. Bostaki and other echinoderms from the Middle Jurassic, paleontologists can gain insights into the origin and diversification of this important group of animals. It is worth noting that the scientific status of J. Bostaki as a valid species of crinoid may be uncertain. The name Gymbacrinus bostaki is listed as a species of crinoid in some sources but it may not be a widely accepted or well-documented scientific name. It is possible that the name may have been misspelled or that it is an outdated or invalid name. Further research and analysis of the fossil specimens may be necessary to verify the scientific status of J. Bostaki and to determine its place in the evolutionary history of crinoids and echinoderms. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this journey back in time exploring the amazing world of the Gymbacrinus Bostaki and learning about the fascinating history of marine life. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like this. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more exciting content on fossils, ancient life, and all things paleontology. Until next time, keep exploring and learning.